Hey guys and welcome to this new series. In this tutorial we will create a battle royal game. So a game where you like in battlegrounds or in H1Z1 um, yeah, play with other players to actually survive. So yeah, they are often uh, games with over 100 players and they are all um, fighting each other to yeah kill each other. So and yeah we will actually do such a game. So open up your Unreal Engine browser and create a new third person project called for example Battle Royal Tutorial like this. And create this project. So here we are in our world with the map loaded up and let's start fresh with a new level with an empty, empty level which will be our main menu and let's save current s create a new folder a map and this one will be our main menu map that's okay and we will create a new game mode here into our blueprints folder called menu game mode then we can create a new pawn which will be our menu pawn and let's create it too. So um, here we go. Uh, let's create a new folder for the UMG. And inside this we want to create a new widget which will be our main menu or let's just call it menu. Let's open it up and we will add a horizontal box first here. Let's align it to the top, everywhere zero, and the size can be 15 for example. So inside this we want a button for our play game. So get a text and put it in. And this will be play or start game. And let's create another one into this which will be just our find game and we will use this just as debug. Um, we will later implement here a fully functional server browser for finding battle royal games and joining them. So uh, at first this is just our default template with uh, which we will work on later on. So um, inside the menu pawn we don't need to do anything so let's go here back and let's actually go to the project settings and let's rework here some settings so go to maps and modes and we will make the startup to the main menu and then we create a new game instance which will be our battle royal game instance and inside here we will do a custom event which will be show main menu. Sorry, like this. Oh no, like this. And this one will, will be very simple. So it's valid question mark. And it's not valid. We want to create this widget. Which will be our menu. And then we promote this to a variable called menu ref and then we want to uh, set input mode UI only let's do it like this and then we want to add to view oh sorry my fault from this one add to view connect this up here and connect it from this valid too. So also we can set show mouse cursor so we can see the mouse actually very simple like this. Compile and save. And then here at the beginning just connect the menu ref. So what we do now is we go back to our game here and with our main map uh, at the persistent level we open the level blueprint. And from here we get our game instance, oh sorry, like this, and we cast 
to our BR game instance. And from this one, we actually show the main menu. Very simple. And that's it. Compile and save. And let's test this out here. There are the buttons. Very simple. Um, to actually work the menu pawn, we need to close our game, save everything up, and again open it. And back inside our game, we will now actually set up for um, dedicated servers. So here we are just inside the client and we want to have a dedicated server. So if we click here now on two players, we want to have two clients here. So yeah, that's how you work with the clients now and the server is not a client too. If I would actually take here, uh, sorry, two and run not as dedicated. We have here one server and, oops, sorry. And here one client. So uh, we want to run or play here with dedicated servers. So next up, let's make the functionality for our play game or start game. And as I said before, this is just for debugging. So click here on clicked. And let's actually create a session. Then um, just for debugging, 200 and the player controller is got player controller, so the ground clicking one. And on success, we want to open a level, which will be our lobby. So what we do next is now creating a new level, which will be our lobby level, this one here. So let's delete the ground and let's create here a big landscape. And let's actually make this zero, so it's a bit down. Then go here back to the object mode and let's search for skylight. Put this in, make this a bit higher. So now we have a cool lobby here. Oh, actually let's get some play starts for the lobby, which will be yeah, simple inputs here, save everything, and call this lobby. So what we want to do here is we want to start the lobby on open level, and we want to listen to others, so others can join actually. So what we do now on the find game, we click here on the unclicked, and we find sessions get the player controller, get max resource here as one, and let's get four each. And as this is just debug, we don't want to uh, show all the servers, we just want to join them instantly. So join server uh, session and the player controller here. So what we do here is we're joining just the session of the other one. And yeah, that's it for here. So, um, oh, sorry, I'm on the lobby here. And for the lobby, of course, we can use the third person game mode. So save this up. Um, open up your main menu map and let's play test it. So click on start game. So create a session here in a few seconds. Or don't we? So um, yeah, actually this won't work here because I made a mistake maybe. Let's check it out. So here's the lobby. Let's print it here. A string, compile and save. And it isn't printing a string. So, um, oh, okay, yeah, my mistake here. So this whole stuff here needs to be copied. Of course, compile and saved. And then we want to create a new player controller. So what we do in the main menu map is clicking here player controller and create a new one, which is called the menu player controller. And inside this, we just delete everything and make a custom event, which is start or something. 
and from them here we start our create session very simple and inside our menu we get our player controller and from them we cast to the menu player controller and then from him we just type in start we compile and save and we test this so actually this doesn't work so let me check this oh and yeah I forgot something so it should not uh, be the case of this the problem should be uh, in the default engine any so open up your config here and your engine I, yeah, I and I and actually we want you to write down online subsystem like this and then here we want to type in default platform uh, service uh, equals null so we want don't want to use any subsystem except the uh, Unreal Engine subsystem. So we work here with with uh, yeah developer online subsystem. So we would later change this to Steam. So yeah, close this. Oh, damn. Yeah, it is saved. Okay, good. So what we do now is restart this one. Save of course, and then click on this one here. So inside here, let's test this now. Click on start game. And yeah, you can see now we are going through the level. And click on find game here to test this one up. And there it is. So yeah, we can now not move because uh, of the um, yeah input mode. So let's fix this up. So inside our lobby here click on the third person character and open this up then type in here even begin play and then we want to set input mode to game only and the target is the player controller so compile and save and play this and now we can move so you can see we are two players here, so this is actually also working. So let's go into our main menu map and test it from here. So we start the game and we can actually work, uh, walk, sorry. So here we are, two players, and yeah, this is the basic setup for our Battle Royale game. And in the next video, we will um, add here a countdown timer and then which will uh, travel us to the next map or to the play game map. So yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, have a nice day. Bye.